All right, continuing. The next thing we are going to do is to create the routes. As you can see, um, we'll copy this. Then we go to our web.php file inside our routes. So we go to web.php web at uh, the bottom here. We'll paste. Then we copy the second route, which is the payment. Then at the bottom here, we we'll paste it. And then uh, that's it. Now we have to go create this route. We have to go create this controller, otherwise we'll have an error. So we're going to copy this. All right. Now, uh, now we've copied this. We can then go create a controller named Payment Controller. So we go to the Payment Controller uh, app folder. Go to HTTP under Controllers. I'm going to right click here and create a new file called paymentcontroller.php hit enter it's empty I paste this so now we're going to look at what is inside here see page stack has been imported already there's this um, method that redirects to gate gateway and there is this method that, that's interesting it contains all the details that page stack uh, brings back from their website so a user starts um, pay, pay in this uh, processes the payment but by the time the, the the payment comes back this is the function that handles all the details okay so the payment is successful all the details come and they are accessible from this method uh, this uh, variable or if it fails the same thing this is the method that handles that now um, if we look back if we look down further we'll see more um, for instance we just have this method that returns the payment data but there are other methods so if we say get get authorized URL redirect now you read what it does these are just different methods this method gets all the customers that have performed transactions on your platform so if you do uh, get all customers so if you want to get the list of all customers that have ever performed transactions and you run this command uh, this one pulls the list of all customers this one gets all plans this one gets all transactions this one gets um, so there are different ones but we don't really need any of them much we just need to be able to um, um, receive the content of the URL so let's get there first now we need to create um, a web page or a form that um, processes the payment so I'm gonna copy this this is a Laravel blade form now, if you look closely at what is a, uh, what is here, it's basically a form that points to a URL or a route, and that's the route we just created in our web.php file up here. Where is it? The pay route. So um, we're just gonna copy this code. This basically, at the end of the day, to show up just like a uh, uh, a button. Let me show you. We will paste it in our page our uh, QR code show page where the user can pay so we have resources we go to QR codes and we have um, show fields so somewhere in that show field where is the QR code so this is where the QR code is displayed so somewhere here we are going to um, underneath let's say underneath so I've pasted that form. So this is the form. So this form um, basically points, sends a post request to the route pay. And now, um, then it has a price that will manually change. But the thing is that it has several input fields that are hidden. See, all of them are hidden. And what do they contain? They contain the email. Um, so this is our email. Um, the email you use to create your paystack account um, contains your order ID you're the one to generate this order ID so generally I will call it a transaction ID or QR code ID you get what I'm saying so we can do something like QR code ID so it contains the amount what amount is um, 
is going to be paid for this um, payment I'll just do QR code um, I think it's amount that we have and then um, quantity quantity is one you can manually set it to depending so this is going to be if you want to pass in more details for instance the, uh, the, the name of the user user ID of the person making the payment you pass it into this array so for me I think I should pass uh, payment user ID paying or buyer ID yeah perfectly buyer ID buyer user ID so the value is um, um, whatever usually it should be like the, the currently logged in user or, or something so I think um, basically we're just gonna ignore this so you can add more details here that's it now the next field is um, transaction reference um, it's pre-filled secret key it's pre-filled and then every other thing then there's this only expose button that bears pay now so let's go see what it looks like already so we go to our page go to QR codes login so click this and mind you paystack processes payment in naira uh paystack plus paystack is not found so we have to work this out um it's not found because um probably it wasn't imported so the reason why this error pulls up is that when we run some of the commands we run in installing uh installing this paystack package um, surprisingly because we're using Laravel 5.6 surprisingly it didn't do some things automatically as Laravel 5.5 would do so at the top of the, the file like this if you come here you will see that it says if you use Laravel 5.5 you can skip this step Laravel 5.5 would have automatically detected this but uh, 5.6 isn't doing it so we have to actually perform this step we copy this and it says go to your config.app.php and add it on the your provider's key so we'll quickly go to config folder app.php and then you scroll you start from beginning and scroll down all the way to providers and at the bottom of providers we can have it here make sure there's a comma here and then add a comma here then we'll go for the next next one which is page stack aliases copy page stack add it under aliases so this is aliases then at the bottom we can add this beautiful make sure that there's a comma here and then there's a comma here so once we do this and go back to our page and refresh it should work so if you're using Laravel 5.5 some of these things should be easy I don't know why they redacted it in Laravel 5.6 so this is a payment page and then there's now a button to make payment all right now um like I said, pay, Paystack uses Nigeria's currency, which is Naira, and then we built this site around um, dollars. So um, you have to take note of that too, but I'll leave it in Naira. So I'll click uh, pay now, and um, it's opening. Guess what? It takes me to Paystack website. So it takes me to Paystack website. It's a pay with test, you see? So uh, this is a test page all right now um, we didn't specify the amount to be to be paid so this payment is gonna fail we have to go back to our platform and um, specify amount I think we specified amount surprise surprise so to do that we have to I think we should just continue in the next video all right because this one is already too long